Hi students, I'm sort of your online tutor. For today's lesson, we will talk about arithmetic sequence. At the end of this video, you should be able to define and identify arithmetic sequence, find the end term of an arithmetic sequence, and answer real-life problems about arithmetic sequence. So if you have your pen and notebook with you, let's get started. Arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers or expressions such that the difference between terms is constant or the same. To begin with, let us find a formula for the n term of any arithmetic sequence. So consider a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and so on and so forth up to a sub n be an arithmetic sequence. Also, let d be the common difference between each term such that succeeding terms, let's say a sub 2 minus a sub 1, d here is the common difference such that succeeding terms minus the preceding term is equal to d so a sub 2 minus a sub 1 that should be equal to d a sub 3 minus a sub 2 that should also be equal to d um, a sub n minus a sub n minus 1 should also be equal to d now given that the first term is a sub 1 writing a sub 1 to know a sub 2, or the second term, we need to add the common difference by the preceding term. So that is the same with a sub 1 plus d. a sub 3, you need to add the common difference by the preceding term. So that would be a sub 2 plus d. Take note that a sub 2 is also the same as a sub 1 plus d. So this would also mean a sub 1 plus d, plus the common difference again, will give you a sub 1 plus 2d. Continuing the pattern, we'll have a sub 4, so that is a sub 3 plus d, the common difference, and a sub 3 is the same as a sub 1 plus 2d. So that's a sub 1 plus 2d, plus d again, will give us a sub 1 plus 3d. Now, notice that the multiplier of the common difference is always 1 less than the position of the term. If this is a sub 4, the multiplier here will become 3. If this is a sub 3, the multiplier here will become 2. So, if we're looking for the fourth term, obviously, the multiplier will become 3. So, if this pattern will progress, we'll have a sub n be equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, which is now the formula for the nth term of arithmetic sequence. So for our first example, find the 15th term of the arithmetic sequence 18, 22, 26, 30, and so on and so forth. Now in order for us to use this formula or the n term formula for an arithmetic sequence, first we need to identify what is a sub 1 or the first term. So in this example, the first term is 18. What is the indicated term or n? So, in this case, we're looking for the 15th term, then therefore n is equal to 15. Then, what is the common difference or d? In finding the common difference, as mentioned earlier, you need to subtract the succeeding term by the preceding term. So, that could be 22 minus 18 or 26 minus 22, so and so and so forth. This is 22 minus 18 or 4. Now, after finding this value, so we now substitute these numbers to our formula a sub 15 or the 15 term is equal to the a sub 1 or 18 plus 15 minus 1 
times the common difference which is 4. So evaluating this value, the 15 term is 18 plus 14 times 4 or 18 plus 56 which gives us a value of 74. Example, number 2, in an arithmetic sequence, 8, 14, 20, and so on and so forth, which term is 122? Now, notice in this example, A sub N is already given. Now, we are looking for the position of 122. It asks for which term is 122. In that case, we are solving for N. Okay? So, A sub 1 is 8. Common difference, that is 14 minus 8 or 20 minus 14, which gives us a value of 6. Then we can now substitute these values on our formula. Take note, 122 is A sub N. So this is 122 equals 8 plus N minus 1 times your common difference, which is 6. So evaluating the values... 8 plus distribute 6 so you have 6n minus 6 isolating the term with the unknown uh, you may now combine these two constant values 8 minus 6 is 2 positive 2 when you transpose that to the other side of the equation that would become negative 2 then you have 6n so you have 120 equals 6n dividing both sides by 6 will give us value of n that is 20. Third example, find the 18th term of an arithmetic sequence whose first term is 11 and whose seventh term is 59. Now notice in this example, the first term is given, that's 11. An indicated term, which is the seventh term, 59, is also given. And it asks for another indicated term or the 18th term. Now, if we would look on our formula, a sub 1 is given, n is given, but the common difference is missing. So, in order for us to find the 18th term, we need to solve first for d or the common difference. Solving for the common difference, we would write a sub n, same formula, sub 1, quantity n minus 1 times d. Now, since 59 is the 7th term, we can use those values to solve for D. A sub N is 59. B equal to the first term, which is 11, plus uh, the, the position of 59, which is the 7th term, 7 minus 1 times D. So, this will become 59 equals 11 plus 6D. Now, isolating the term with the variable 6D, 11 will now be transposed to the left side of the equation and that would become minus 11 so we'll have 48 equals 6d dividing both sides by 6 will give us a value of d that is 8 now you can use this value to find the 18th term of this arithmetic sequence so solving for the 18th term is 11 plus 18 minus 1 times the common difference which is 8 so this is 11 plus 17 times 8 or 11 plus 136 is equal to 147 <laughs>